Hello everybody, Jack here, and today we're going to learn the basics of combat in Valheim. By the end of this video, you're going to know a couple tricks that'll really help you stay alive no matter what you're fighting. When you first join Valheim, you'll start in the center of the map, and immediately a great idea is to get some food. So if you look behind the stones, there's always going to be some raspberries and some mushrooms. You just have to go look for them. The most important lesson of all in Valheim regarding combat has nothing to do with weapons or enemies. It's all about terrain. You see this? This elevation right here? This is how you die. These hills, they're gonna kill you. These trees, they're gonna kill you. These shrubs, they're going to kill you. It's not the monsters, those dangerous bastards. It's the shrubs, the rocks, the elevation, the hills, the valleys, the water. Oh, that's what really will kill you. So the best combat advice you can have in Valheim is where are you fighting your foe? And you will be a much better fighter if you keep things in the open. Now compare this to if I run off over here. Oh no. Now I'm, I'm stuck, I'm trying to escape, and I can, I can go over here, oh, I'm stuck. Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna pimp slap me. No, no! See, he got me. And that's, that's how you die, I'm not kidding. That, that really is how you die in this game. It's all about having flat terrain. Don't fight stuff unless you have flat terrain. That all right, we have our flat area, so it's time to actually do some fighting. First, let's make this a little bit better. I got this lame armor. I mean, tch, that's so ridiculous. And, and this food. All right, now we are ready to go. Let me just clear the battlefield real quick and get to it. All right, here's our boar. And he's gonna screw me up. See, one more hit like that and I'm gonna go down. So let's take some time and really get used to the pattern here, all right? because there's some tricks you can use to stay alive really easily against enemies. Not gonna even teach you about blocking or rolling to dodge because honestly, there's easier ways. If you just walk around in certain patterns, the enemies will almost never actually hit you. So this is the simple back strafe, right? All I'm doing is walking sideways. I'm pressing backwards and left they're not gonna hit you. So this is a very useful trick that's gonna keep you alive. Basically, if you make eye contact with the enemy, it won't kill you. But again, you will die because you don't realize it. You fall off a cliff, run into water, and then get speared by a boar. That kind of thing happens, or a goblin, right? So you really have to keep watching. And you can imagine how this would get much more complicated if there were multiple enemies as well, right? So let's continue observing this boar because he actually has quite a lot to teach us. You can see that he runs off away, right? Sort of runs around and then comes back in and he'll keep following me until he does an attempt and then he runs off. This is one of the enemy patterns. And see, he came back and he does another attempt and then he runs off. So he's not gonna attack you like multiple times in a row typically, see? He tries once and whether he hits you or not, he goes and then comes in for another pass. This is the same pattern that death skeetos use. You know that once he started that first attack and missed, you don't have to worry. He's literally not gonna try and attack you. You can just walk out the last second and he'll walk away. Now, all I've done so far is just keep alive, right? Or stay alive. But how do we actually fight the boar? One of the first things I wanna to bring to your attention is that enemies actually also have stamina. So you can see right now, this boar running through the grass all cheerfully right now, this is a dry boar. And you know it's dry because he's not dripping with water, right? Whereas there we go, get him in the water, get him to swim around a little bit. There we go, that looks like he's swimming. Now when this boar comes out of the water, look at that, you see those? those little raindrops behind him, that's a wet boar. And 
That may seem minor, but that wet boar is actually a lot easier to kill than a dry boar for the same reasons that you are a lot easier to kill when you're wet or cold or not rested. So you can use these kind of status debuffs against the enemies as well. We can block right when he puts his attack in, right? So he's going to come at me and then try and attack me, and I'm going to block right as he does that. Oh, he got me, see? I did it too late there. And if I take another hit like that, I'll die. Try it again, and block. Oh, I've wrecked. See, boars are vicious. You're gonna need Well, to... <laughs> as you can see here, we, uh, we had some problems there. You're gonna find that some enemies, even if you successfully block, they're just gonna kill you anyway. So how do you fight enemies that you can't block with your shield at its current level? Well, it's all about timing and knowing how to avoid the enemy's attacks. So what you can do is side strafe, bait an attack, and then land your own attack. And now he's gonna come do the exact same thing, right? So he's gonna try and attack me. I bait his attack, get close to him. There we go, and now I punch him, see? And I get an attack every time he tries to attack me. So usually to bait them, you just kind of run towards them in a tiny little circle, so go like that. That way you get into their range just for a moment, and then you're out of it, so they make the attack, and you're unharmed, right? Just like that. And if you really know what you're doing, then you can bait the attack, and then instead of getting hit like that, you bait the attack, and then you use your strong attack which will usually stun them, right? Boom, he's dead. Now, remember earlier where I mentioned that the boar can get wet? What does that do exactly? Well, that determines how easy it is to get the boar to be staggered. Now, let me try and kick the boar to show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna bait one of his attacks here. There we go, bait it and now kick him. See how he's stuck there back for a second? He stayed still instead of running away. That's because he got staggered. When something gets staggered, it can't move, and any attack that hits it will do critical damage. So a great strategy to kill these early game enemies, even when you're naked, is to bait an attack, kick them, and then you go for the punches and you get critical hits. There we go, I got one. It's easier if I show you with the necks. Just find a neck, they're usually near water. There's one, let's go ruin his day. Hello, wet lizard. Oh look, these they're already wet, how convenient is that? Here we go, he's coming towards us, kick him in the face, and then go for the punch. Ah, oh, I keep missing it just by a second. There we go, did you see that like noise? It went doo! That's how you know you got a critical. And that happens the first time you attack an enemy when they haven't seen you, or if the enemy is staggered, like we were just talking about. So you can use this kick attack, right? By clicking the middle mouse button, boom, and you just kick the enemy, and that will usually stagger them. All right, everybody, that's it for now. I really appreciate your time, effort, and attention. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos for more Valheim tutorials about all sorts of different things. And if you want to support my work, or set up your own Valheim dedicated to the server, then please check out this video showing you exactly how to set up your own Valheim dedicated server. Usually these servers run between $15 and $20 a month, and that can be split between multiple people. And for me, it's just a much, much more interesting way to play Valheim because it adds some life to the world. It adds some uncertainty, which the game really, really needs. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!